Hey guys, Dave from Pan Am Home Production. Uh, today is October 6th, 6th, October 6th. Uh, working on the haunt today. I was doing a lot last night and I found out that um, my one prop, I have a witch prop that I want to put out. A huge, huge witch prop. Um, it's not going to fit. Just, I just don't have the room. So this is no longer going to be the witch's uh, lair, which I said originally. Uh, it's now just going to be a torture room. Uh, because of this. Uh, that's my gas chamber frame. It's gas, the prop isn't inside, of course. It's just a frame. But he is a lot bigger than I remember him being. So he's taking up a lot more room. So that's where the witch was originally going to be. So now gas chambers go in there. And I got my new prop here. Which I'm going to talk about in a little bit. So I'm going to be working on him today. And I got the fat guy Puker out. He uh, throws up. And, um, yeah, I got some more lights up. I have to move this overhead light because now it's hitting the side of the gas chamber. So I'm going to move it in front. I did put some overhead uh, things in. I got some uh, more jew cloth and some cheese cloth up top to kind of disguise. At night, you really can't even see the ceiling, which is awesome. Right now it's daytime, so it's kind of bright in here. But at night, it really blends that ceiling in good. So, let's uh, let's get to work today, get some shit done. This is my new prop. It's going to be an electrocution style thing. Um, today, I gotta, I gotta paint him. I was gonna corpse him and all, but I just don't have the time. Uh, so I'm gonna paint him. I'm gonna take him off this. This is a, actually a bed frame, an old, you know, bed frame the side underneath an, another bed. And uh, so I'm using that. And I've got this, I don't know, piston I made up. On and uh, this part here, that part attaches to this ass. And the other part attaches to the bed frame and um, makes him shake back and forth. It should be pretty cool when I'm done. So I'm going to go paint him now. Okay, I'm in the process of painting my skeleton. Uh, he's just your regular Bucky skeleton. He's your fourth generation of skeleton. I'm painting him black right now. I'm, I'm going to start with black and then uh, work my way to a lighter, lighter colors to make him look a little old. This is just a very quick way of corpsing without actually doing the whole latexing crap. I'm just going to paint the crap out of them and uh, save me some time this year. Next year, maybe I'll corpse them. So now we're just turning them black. Now I just sprayed them with, uh, let's see if you can see that, American accents. Where is it? Fossil color. I just misted it over so that some of the black is still showing through you can see I plugged in his eye hole so his eyes are very black so I didn't want to paint in there but now he's looking kind of aged and patinaed I guess you might call it on to the next color and as uh, for the last color I put a little colonial red Let's see if you can see that colonial red I just really lightly went over with that just to give a little bit of a I guess bloody look and uh, I think he's done for now put some clothes on him strap him down to the bed and electrocute the shit out of him should be fun as you see I mounted him to the bed frame I was gonna put clothes on him and I did I put, I put an old t-shirt and an old pair of jeans and it looked stupid I didn't like it at all I like this look a lot better I, uh, I mounted him to the frame using zip ties I put him on the hands and the feet and then I uh, wrapped it with that stuff you find at Party City, the fake barbed wire and uh, just to cover the zip ties and around the neck too uh, here those zip ties are not going to be there I'm going to use U-bolts around his, his uh, spine and attach him directly to my pistons plate there so when he moves back and forth it'll be nice and secure then I got some old jumper cables. I put them at the top. And then I'm going to move my shocker panel over to the other side of them. 
and I'm gonna take the jumper cables and stick the jumper cables inside and make it look like he's getting electrocuted from the power panel. I hope. We'll see if I can do that. So, yeah, he's coming along. I just gotta mount the the plate to the back of the bed frame. I gotta get some more aluminum for that. And then just give him some air and a, and a uh, valve and he's ready to go. Hopefully next time you see this video, he'll be working. So that's it for today. I'm done. Uh, tomorrow, which is great, I'm going to Universal Studios in California. I'm going to the Hollywood uh, Universal's uh, uh, Halloween Horror Nights for a weekend. So I'm not going to be able to work on the haunt. But I think it's well worth it because Horror Nights are definitely an awesome thing to do. This is my first time in uh, California, so it's going to be fun. So this is it for this week. Next week I'll do a hell of a lot more. I'm coming back on Monday and then right back to the haunt again. So, yeah, that's about that. Oh, I didn't show you these. I got my garbage cans in. I got four garbage cans. They're not hooked up. They're just going to be in front. This one here is actually going to be right in between those two. It's going to keep people out of the tent. This doesn't belong here. Yeah. And uh, this garbage can has a guy inside. He pops open. Guy pops out. This garbage can has an air can in it. which shoots out the front. And his lid shakes up and down. This garbage can, the lid just shakes. Like that. that garbage can is like the other one, and it has an air cannon in it and a popper for the lid. They also have, each one has a speaker in the back. You see that? There's a speaker over there. You see that in there? So I get a lot of my sound right in front. Uh, so I gotta hook those up. Those are gonna be right in the front. So that's just scare the crap out of people when they walk in front of the tent. Well, what else didn't I show you? I uh, I can't wait to get him full of water. He's really funny when he throws up. And uh, yeah, that's about it. The place is a mess. I gotta do a lot of cleaning. I gotta put all the shit away. And of course, I gotta get my gas chamber out. My the actual animatronic. He's uh he's downstairs. And. Uh, He's the heaviest shit. He weighs about 400 pounds, and I have to drag him up a flight of stairs, then back down a flight of stairs to get him outside to the driveway. So if any volunteers want to come and help, be my guest. So, okay, that's it for this time. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or comments, please uh, write them below. And again, please click the subscribe button. I'm at, I think... 50 something subscribers now which is awesome i just broke 50 subscribers this week which is great i know it's just a, like a drop in a hat towards what a lot of other vloggers out there some vloggers have five six hundred thousand subscribers but 50 hey 50 is great for me i love 50 you know uh thank all you for uh subscribing and one of these days i'll probably do one of those contests i see a lot of subscribers out there a lot of uh vloggers out there doing a contest for the subscribers so uh, maybe next week when I get back from California, I'll, uh, I'll hook a, uh, a small contest up for, for my subscribers. So subscribe now and you'll be in for that one. So until then, thank you. I'm Dave, Pandemic Hall Production slash Pandemic Cemetery. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you.